Hello YouTube, me again Marcus Jones here with another video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and help me get to about 100 subscribers. As well as that, make sure you turn on the notification bell so when I upload a new video you instantly get notified about that video. Okay, so today's video is a bit political, bit of opinion sort of thing, and it is my opinion on Brexit and England. So let's get on with this video. So to be honest, Britain lately, it's been in the news quite a bit with all the stuff about Brexit and what going to happen with it and in my opinion I don't really think it is going to happen on October the 31st because I keep voting and voting and voting and they seem to be getting nowhere fast do they on top of that they can't figure out a deal for Brexit so are we going to leave the EU with a no deal Brexit or are we going to leave with a deal? We need to figure out a deal before October 31st. And another thing is that you see these adverts on telly saying not get ready for Brexit because you won't be able to not get European products and all that stuff which often makes me think well so what you used to have our own industries like why can't we have our own industries after Brexit why can't we make our own cars again why can't we grow our own food again instead of importing stuff from all the different countries it will create plenty of jobs and as the government probably knows there is tons of unemployment in England so they need to sort this out. Another thing is that Boris Johnson is an intelligent man, very intelligent but I mean does he really have an idea what he's trying to do? Because, I mean, he keeps promising to do all this stuff. And you never see it happen, do you? And, I mean, another thing is, he's a criminal. He's already had stuff to do with the police, hasn't he? A few months back, he had that to do with his missus. Where there was... Loud noises coming from his apartment and the police were called out to his apartment. Another thing is he lied to the Queen of England, which is illegal. He also abused his power by suspending Parliament. So, does he really know what he is trying to do with this country? Because, I mean, to be quite fair, sorry for swearing, which I will do in a minute, but to be quite fair, Britain is going to shit. It is full of immigrants, terrorists, drug dealers, homeless people, and someone needs to sort England out. Because, I mean, look at what most days is in the news. Stuff about not people getting stabbed. This is all because of the rubbish systems in this country. School system is rubbish because people don't learn about what knife crime can do and all that. And I mean, there's a lot of poverty in most cities in England. Take Blackpool, 
they are streets in Blackpool where people are afraid to walk down because they might get stabbed. Something needs to get done, so they give Blackpool some money to recreate that street, rebuild it, put places in for people to go so they can learn about this stuff because I mean it's annoying to see in the news that eight year old kids are getting stabbed because they don't know better than to just hang around with the wrong crowds, get into doing drugs and all that then because they're getting into debts with the drugs, they're having to carry knives round. And so my next point is about terrorist attacks, often called by foreigners. I think if we could tighten up our security a whole lot more, then there wouldn't be so many terrorist attacks. That is why we need better security because innocent people are dying and when people are coming into England to live maybe try doing a better background check seeing what they have like seeing if they have any mental health issues or something like that because that way then if they have a mental health issue that may result in them wanting to not go and do something stupid. At least then, if they want to come into the country, you can instantly get them the help they need and deserve. Another point is, what is going on with Brexit again? I know I've already said about it, but I mean, there's just tons of folks and no one really knows what's happening. And to be quite honest, most people have changed their mind. And half the people who voted when Brexit was first mentioned are dead or either just too old. And you always see all these uh, old pensioners moaning about it, saying, so eh, nothing's happening, I wish I'd have voted to stay in, I wish I'd have voted against it and all that, because it's going to ruin the country. I don't see why they care, because by the time Brexit comes, they are most likely be too old or buried and I mean it's not them Brexit will affect it's young kids like me that Brexit will affect because no one knows what's going to happen and to be honest even I'm not sure what's going to happen because for all we know if we do leave the EU many big businesses that are European that do not situate themselves over here will shut. I mean shops will shut as well like all the European shops which will therefore lose tons of jobs for people and create a bigger unemployment but then again why don't we just create our own industries? Been back steel industry, mining industries, car industries. I mean, we used to be an empire for crying out loud. Like, we can still be an empire if someone just got in as <coughs> Prime Minister and said, Look, we're taking crap from no one anymore. We're our own country. If you don't want to trade with us, there's the door, go home, sort of thing. Because if we done that, then we would be probably one of the richest countries again. And we'll have 
tons of jobs for all these English people. So that is what I think about Brexit and what's going on with England lately. If you want, feel free to comment down below in the comment section what you think's going to happen or how do you think it will affect England. Yet again, I've been Marcus Jones. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so when I upload any more brand new videos you get notified. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.